Greetings everybody, Michael Walker, Secondary Technology Integration Specialist here in Edina and today is the first in our video series of tips for eLearning Squared. Today I'm going to be talking to you about using Evernote to enhance your learning here in Edina. For those unfamiliar with Evernote, it is a cloud-based tool that allows you to take notes, clip images, websites, etc from the web and add them into notebooks that you can organize for your classes. It works as both a website, a client that you can download on your computer, and an app that you can use on your Android or iOS device as well as in Google Chrome. You can create an account for Evernote using your Edina apps email. I've already done one, so I'm going to sign in as eLearning2 student. to demonstrate some of the features. You'll see up on the left that you have notebooks that you can create. So you can click here, say new notebook. Now I've already gone in and created one for geometry, ninth grade government, physics, ninth grade pre-AP English, etc. as a way to kind of organize my information for those classes that I might be taking. Um, for example, I can go in here to government. Here's a PDF file that I clipped that I found useful um, on the election. Here's a couple for physics that I've grabbed. Same type of a thing. On the web version you can click here to add new notes or you can click on the pencil tool to edit any notes that you may have already created. One of the features we think is really powerful though is an extension that you can add to your Chrome browser. So if you're on a Chromebook or you're using Chrome on a laptop this is for you. Click on New tab in Chrome and go to the Chrome Web Store. Once you're at the store, if you search for Evernote, you'll see that there are a couple of options. There's an app that you can add to Chrome that will take you to basically to Evernote.com. But there's also this extension called the Evernote Web Clipper. Go ahead and add that to Chrome. When you've added the extension to Chrome, you'll see this little gray elephant icon in the upper right hand corner. Well, let's say you're do studying government and you're studying the Second Amendment. Now, today here in Minneapolis, President Obama was talking about gun control. And maybe I want to grab that article as a resource for my study. So once I'm on the site, I can go ahead and click on the Evernote Web Clipper. And once I'm signed in, I can say I want to add this to my government notebook, for example. I can add tags to help organize things. Maybe I want to type in Second Amendment, and maybe I want to put in Obama, other things like that. I can add comments to it right here if I wanted to. And then I have the option of either saving the, just the article, or I can add, save the full page website. So let's say I save the full page website. It's going to go through, it's going to save that clipping, and I can go back in later in Evernote and add some notes to it or other things if I need to. But that's a quick way for you to grab resources that you might need for different classes as you're searching using that Evernote web clipper. And if you're signed into Chrome, you're going to have access to that as an extension on your device. Remember that if you ever have any questions, you feel free to contact either Mr. Barrent or myself. We'd be happy to assist you and help make your learning experience as successful as it can be. Thanks for joining us today, and if you have thoughts and ideas on future uh, video tips, please let us know. Have a great day.